Aloha from Maui. I hope you are doing amazing. And whatever brings you to watching this video, I believe that we're drawn to certain things for certain reasons and definitely at certain times in our lives. And so you may be in a position where you're feeling a little exhausted, a little burned out. You're feeling maybe some pressure at work. And, and there are times when you look in the mirror and you say, can I really handle this all? And I know that I've been there and I get it. And one of the biggest things I'll, I want to say to you is that, you know, you really do have the power to reclaim your life. And there are a lot of people out there who say things like, you know, you've got to work these 16 hour days. And I'm not a believer in that. And I'll just jump in and start with a story. If you don't know who I am, first and foremost, my name is Susan Sly. I'm an author and I'm a trainer and I have a true passion for really helping people reclaim their lives, to trust their guts, to be able to become more productive and do more with less time so they can spend more time doing the things they love, you know, being with their kids, being with their partner, going out and having adventures. And so my journey began many years ago, back in 2000. And I don't know if any of you have ever had this moment and it was you know, leading into that year where I knew intuitively something wasn't right. And I was dropping things, I was slurring my speech, I was exhausted all the time, yet I couldn't sleep. And I went to my doctor and I said, Ross, listen, something's not right. And he's like, you're just stressed out, you need to go on vacation. And I went on vacation, I actually went to Jamaica and I slept the whole seven days and the heat actually made me feel worse. And I went back and I had this sticky note and I said, Ross, listen, you come to me when you want to know what to eat, how to work out. You know, I was a personal trainer, nutritionist. I was teaching nutrition at the college level back in those days. I owned a health club and I said, you know, you come to me for those things and I'm coming to you. Something's not right. And I, I listed out the tests I wanted. I want an MRI. I want a CT scan. I want all this stuff. And on January 13th of 2000, he called me in his office and he held up this scan and it looked like a fishbowl full of fish. And he said, Susan, this is your brain. You have progressive multiple sclerosis. And in a case like yours, generally speaking, someone will end up in a wheelchair in 10 years and be dead in 20. And I was like, heck no. And so, you know, for three days, I'm like, you know, figuring out my life and I'm researching online and, and I knew I had to make some big decisions. One thing I knew is that if I kept on going the way I was going, that I was going to end up in that wheelchair. So what do you think I did? I changed my life and it was all amazing. I became a work-life balance expert. No, that's not what happened. I continued to push through. I continued to race pro triathlon. I didn't tell my staff. Some weeks I taught 21 fitness classes a week at my gym. And here's the thing if you're taking notes, you will not find balance. Balance is going to force itself on you if you don't listen. And that's what happened to me. And so 16 weeks later, I go to my health club and there's a padlock on the door. It's a Friday morning, good Friday. I'm there to teach a spinning class. And there, we had been shut down for failure to pay taxes. And I had totally buried my head in the sand. I let my business partner handle the finances. And there I was. I was publicly humiliated. I had been on television every day, radio on, on Sundays. I had my first online business in the 90s. And there I was, this personality, the celebrity, publicly humiliated. And everything began to go in this death spiral. And I got really humble. And I found myself on my knees saying to God, you know, if you will show me the way, I will do the work. And I wasn't looking for a hand out, I was looking for a hand up. And, you know, it was at that time that I, I really knew that I had nothing. You know, I had no access to my bank accounts. I was frozen out. I had my little three-year-old daughter. I was trying to figure out what am I going to do. And I had to put my life back together. And I knew it wasn't a matter about coming back. It was about being stronger and making a change. And so I, I made the decision to spend the rest of my life inspiring people to claim their lives. And that's what today's video is about. You know, I, I know some of you are so freaking out of balance. I know you're like one moment away from maybe having a heart attack or an anxiety attack and you're not heeding the signs and the symptoms. And to the people who say work the 16 hour days, no, no one can do that. They can't maintain it. And anyone working 16 hours a day is wasting time somewhere. So let me give you a few of the strategies that 
that have helped me reclaim it. And I'm still in the process and I started working on my new book yesterday called 955. You'll hear about it. It's gonna become a movement. And it's really about reclaiming your life and going, okay, I'm gonna work nine to five, five days a week, or I'm gonna just work eight hours a day, but I'm not, I'm stopping the insanity. I'm not gonna be texting, you know, business people back at 11 at night. I'm not gonna sleep with my freaking phone on beside my bed. I'm, I'm gonna claim my life. I'm gonna live my life. I'm not gonna live someone else's life and I'm gonna own it. And for some of you, you're gonna to have to make some tough decisions. Maybe, you know, it is gonna be a bit wonky at times. Maybe it's about, you know, taking some night courses so you can change your career, or it's about learning business automation strategies or starting a business or whatever it's going to be. You're going to have to be efficient. And in one business where I made millions and millions and millions of dollars, and it still continues to generate revenue, what I did is I actually figured out a way to find two hours a day to work my business. And then I went to my boss, I was working, I said, Hey, you know, if I put in these hours here, can I have some extra hours here? And he agreed to it. So I actually use my lunchtime. I use my break. I've messaged people, follow up with them at night, um, eight, you know, eight to 10 at night. And you know, that period of time I was still putting in an eight hour day. And you know, guys, here's the thing I want to tell you is if you're not in a position where you are coming into the digital age and using technology and figuring out how to do automated follow-up sequences and automating your social media and doing things that allow you to create content one time and then optimize it. If you're not doing any of those things, you're going to be in trouble because that's where business is going. And you don't have to work 16 hours a day. And in fact, some of the, the highest paid YouTubers out there, they're like playing with slime or they're cutting stuff up. Or my girlfriend, her little niece makes 15,000 a month on YouTube playing with American girls. They're not working 16 hours a day. And I think as I watch, you know, Gen Z come up and I love Gen Z and I invite you on June 6th, my friend Connor Blakely, he's been in Fast Company Inc. magazine. He's a Gen Z strategist. He's going to be training on LinkedIn or sorry, on Instagram as I watch Gen Z come up, they're not willing to work 16 hour days. And some people have said they're lazy. Well, guess what? I don't think they're lazy. I think they're smart. They're smarter than we are. I mean, if you're grinding it out and your income isn't increasing and you're not happier, you got to do something different. And what's that different going to look like? So I want to, I want to finish with this. So you have my word over the next year. I, and I'm going to tell my staff this. Some of them are watching right now. It's very cool. I'm reclaiming my life eight hours a day. So if my first call, you know, if I have a, a business call at seven at night, I am not starting until 11 or I'm going to work like eight to noon and then I'm going to work, you know, whatever, four to eight. I am reclaiming my life and I want to invite you all to join this movement. I'm going to figure, I already automate a lot of my life. Um, today I even had a nap. Oh my gosh, I'm in Maui and I slept for three hours this afternoon, but I also completed a new strategy training for my sales team. Um, I created a new sales script. I mentored um, some about 60 amazing women with my girl friend Kathy Savage. I did a two hour mentoring call with my coach. I mean, it was a productive day and I napped, you know, and I have a business dinner and I'm here with all of you. You can do those things if you become efficient. And there are lots of ways. So I'm just going to give you a fire hose of different ways you can become more efficient. One is really to figure out a way to automate parts of your th day that are wasting a lot of time whether that's your schedule, using something like schedule ones, or whether that is figuring out a way to automate your follow-up sequences. Like I, you know, we teach, our team teaches at my digital marketing agency, the agency eight. Um, when you figure out how to optimize your social media, so you're not just on there all the time looking at people's kitten videos, but you're using strategies, you're reading the analytics, you're figuring out the times when you're getting the most engagement and you can be like a ninja. You come on, you post, you come off, right? Once you become a big influencer, people will watch your videos at two in the morning. If that's when you want to be on, it doesn't matter. But until you get to that point, figure that stuff out so you're not wasting time. Find a schedule and stick to it. Be disciplined because I'll tell you something. I was speaking to a girlfriend of mine who's a massive influencer today. She's like, Susan, people putting in these 16 hour days, they look haggard in their videos, they're exhausted and they're not more efficient. And they can be saying all the things they want, but chances are it's affecting their relationships, it's affecting their 
parenting. If you can relate to that, just say yes in the chat right now. And my bottom line, guys, if you're struggling to make money, if you're struggling to build your brand, if you're struggling to build your career, then stop guessing and find a, find a coach, find a mentor, find a system. I don't care what it is, find something to get you there. But you can create amazing content in eight hours or less a day. You can build a multi-million dollar business in eight hours or less a day. You can become a massive influencer as a personal trainer, as a chef, as an online crafter. You know, my daughter, my 12 year old, sorry, she's like, mommy, I wanna be a professional YouTuber. We're hearing this all the time now. She's like, I wanna build hobby horses on YouTube. My son wants to be a professional YouTuber. It's an actual career, guys. They're not gonna work. 16 hour days so if this is resonating for you and I hope it is I invite you to join this movement I'm claiming my life back I don't really care what the optic is some people are gonna be like oh you're not as available like for years I haven't worked on Sundays that's still continuing but I'm thinking of adding Saturdays too and I probably will I am NOT putting in 60 hour weeks anymore just pardon my language for my, I'm not gonna say what I wanted to say I don't swear but <laughs> forget that I'm not gonna do it it. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to love my life. I'm going to increase my income working less time. And if that's a movement you can get behind, stay tuned because that's where I'm going. And in my new book, 955, that whole movement going back to nine to five, like having a real life. And then afterwards you maybe see your kids and play with them or go to the gym or hang out with friends or go on a real date with someone you met in real life. Oh my gosh. You know, let's all reclaim our lives so with that it's great to see all of you and cheers i'm having a little red wine in maui and i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the view come with me for a moment it's so spectacular the lighting might not be great but you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous so with that let's reclaim it i love you guys enough's enough Get your life back, get your health back, make a lot of money, and just be happy because that's what it's all about. All right, goodbye, God bless, I love you. Mwah.